Hello and welcome to Autodesk Alias Design from the Beginning, Part 4. We're going to concentrate on a directory structure and the proper directory structure to help your project stay organized. So if I go to File and I go to Open, you'll see the dialog here. Currently, I'm in this directory right here, Alias from the Beginning. What I want to do is I want to create a new project in this directory. What, when I do this, what it's going to do is it's creating a new project with the proper directory structure for a alias design product project. You'll notice we have a wire. We have an animation canvas, pics where you can put images in. Um, or canvas planes where all these can be stored. And this can be set to say, okay, go to my current project, which is new project. Now when you create a new project, it is going to put it into my documents, Autodesk alias. Every installation has a user data directory and new project. So I can just single click on this and call this from the beginning okay and what we'll do is we're gonna set from the beginning as our current and notice it automatically defaults to the wire from our from the beginning project what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this into, we'll go to projects from the beginning and we'll save this part one wire into that directory. Notice now that that wire file is in there and when I open any files now they're in the proper directory. I strongly encourage you to use this directory structure when um, working. Okay? And we looked at the current project. And then we come to some exercises. So, stay tuned uh, for part five, where we'll work through some of these exercises and really start getting an interface. I know this first part has been really boring, but it's very important that we set up the interface properly and go through some basics.